How to treat a jellyfish sting. Usually, jellyfish are fairly harmless, but sometimes a day at the beach can lead to a stingy situation. You will need seawater, vinegar, gloves or tweezers, shaving cream and a flat edge, an over-the-counter pain reliever, and a doctor. Optional, rubbing alcohol and baking soda. Jellyfish stings can cause severe allergic reactions and death. If the victim shows signs of progressive symptoms, including nausea, difficulty breathing, and chest pain, seek medical attention immediately. Step one. Your first instinct may be to scratch the sting site, but try to leave it alone. Rubbing or patting the affected area may release more venom and spread the sting. Step two. Lifeguards will generally have a sting treatment kit available. Contact them immediately and alert them to your situation. Step three. Pour seawater over the affected area. Don't use fresh or bottled water. This can activate the toxins and intensify the sting. Step four. With gloved hands or tweezers, remove any tentacles that you can see still clinging to the sting site. Do not remove tentacles with bare hands. The jellyfish venom may still be active. Step five. Wash the sting site with vinegar, which helps to neutralize the jellyfish poison. In a pinch, rubbing alcohol or baking soda will also work. Although peeing on a jellyfish sting is a common folk remedy, it only works if the urine is acidic, like if you've been taking vitamin C tablets, for example. Step six, cover the sting site with shaving cream and scrape it off with a dull, flat edge. This will remove any remaining tentacles. Step seven, again, use seawater to rinse off the area. Step eight, take the recommended dose of an over-the-counter pain reliever. Step nine, check in with your physician. They may prescribe additional treatments to alleviate pain. Also, if it's been more than 10 years since your last tetanus shot, you may need an injection. Did you know poisons in jellyfish tentacles can stay active for up to six months?